Hello, this is Vequinox, and welcome to part 88 of the 100%. And I think we're going to try to beeline it through the main part of the Shivering Isles quest chain for now. There is some side stuff, and a lot of it is collecting items and ingredients and all that. I'm not really into the idea of that right now. There's those settlement quests. I don't want to start that right now. Uh, I just want to do the main story chain. We can always come back <coughs> here in the future. This is a bit problematic. The sun damage. Let's make sure we have the quest up and running. So we are supposed to go all the way to the south here. Why don't we actually just go back in here? Sleep until it's nighttime and then drink some damn blood. I think that is the right call. I hate sun damage with a burning passion, honestly. Morning Star, I think that's supposed to be January in this game. So it's like, it's January 27th. Don't ask me how the years work. I... Okay, we need to break into a house and drink someone's blood. This guy should do. Once she's done strolling by, That was weird when I was like looking at her with my crosshair. Didn't feel natural when I was watching her, honestly. Okay, let's drink this guy's blood one more time. Yes. Feed. Nice. Just a little bit more. Man, the beds look super comfortable in this place, honestly. I'd sleep in a bed like that. It looks super good. Not sure how I feel about having a creepy statue looking up above me, but still, not half bad. Some random things here. This guy, he has a ton of food. I don't know if he actually has like a shop open where he sells all these items. Maybe we should come back here later. Yeah, this place would be really good for a collection quest later on. Okay, let's actually go to the the place. Um, where's the right exit? We should probably exit out of Crucible. That's the right Speak call. Citizen. And also, let's continue to level up. You know what, I really want to discover this place. Over here. Dumboro pirates have returned from their mission and have placed your share of their plunder in the captain's quarters. It's been a week since we've came here. My goodness, time flies by. Right, let's see if we can't get up here. There's gotta be an easy route, right? I think this is as easy as it gets, just to stroll up this hill. No trouble. It's about time. Run off camp. Okay, just some flesh atronach and a heretic. Not much of anything. At least now when we go to the boot, we can discover a ton of places. A lot of places we've never seen. I don't really recall if we had uh, been doing oh. any of the settlement stuff. I think we got two at most, but there is one down there, and it's a really fun quest, in my opinion. Tons of fun. And I vividly remember a book <coughs> that the character drops there. The writing in it is super good, in my opinion. Really, like, deep trains of thought in this woman's journal. I actually kind of want to do that quest if we stumble upon it, just because of that journal alone. So we're going to keep on leveling. I think after we do the Shivering Isles, we should like just primarily focus on getting our skill ups. And it may be weird to do that. Like we go through the quests, but maybe like I do one quick quest at the start of the episode and then I do a ton of leveling up 
I think that is the right way to do it. Return to our roots, like we used to. We can do like a quick Dark Brotherhood mission, and then instantly go and do a uh, ton of training and leveling up. And I think, I'm not gonna lie, I was doing the math, and I think we might have gotten a bonus level up due to us actually getting uh, that one free level up from, uh, what's his name? Big Head. Not sure if it was enough, but I thought we were lacking one level up. Or skill up to get to the next level. I was doing a bunch of math in my head. Okay, we got Rotten Den. We got a camp here, too. I think this is the settlement quest I want to do. Let's go over here and check this out. Yeah, this is it. This is definitely it. Also, I'm on the brink of death. I didn't even realize. Water root pod. Uh, perhaps you could help us? But why should I trust you? You might be, you know, one of them. Oh, trust me. I'm most definitely Our one of them. Our situation is desperate. She controls our minds. But, but wait, I've said too much. Talk to my Kishashi. If she will trust you, I will trust you. Okay. I think he's got some synth problems. Someone's convinced him he's a synth and they're taking control of his... his, uh... what is it? His hard drive or whatever. His memories. His mind. They're changing his memories for something else to make him seem pathetic. Okay, let's break into this house. Hello? Oh shit. Time for you to leave, my friend. Okay, alright. I don't think she's actually our friend. We should probably not hang around there. Relin Kishashi. Am I hallucinating? Alright, let's put on this quest. Everything in its place. Oh, now this place is open. What? Make it quick. I have work to do. I need five pod bits. Normally the peasants do that work, but pod bits are special. They hatch into beautiful birds. Uh-huh. Uh, what can you tell me about Felmore? This looks like a farm, doesn't it? That's what they want you to think. Truth be told, these plants are monsters. They sleep below the water. That's sketchy. They dream terrible dreams, and one day soon, they will rise up, consume us, and the rest of the shivering isles. Get out while you can. Dude, I'm so glad you told me that. I was completely ignorant on that. Honestly, this woman is a hero. Forget Jigalag, this is the real trouble in Cyrodiil. Uh, Renard Joe. That's her husband, I think. Renard Joe sent you? Did you know that once he was king of the Shivering Isles? Before Sheogorath, in fact, I was his queen. Whoa. We made Sheogorath by planting little seeds in the ground and watering them with our tears and blood. And now look at us, living like slaves for that cursed Sindonwe. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, we earned his trust. We're trying to, trying to solve your troubles here. Now, how is he supposed to trust you if I don't trust you? If you'll excuse me, I have work to do. I need to collect five pod bits. Okay, maybe... I suppose... Maybe we have to we'll make her see. like us? Not... Not... What a dumb... dumb I, let's just... You win this one. Gracious. What... That's... I see. Okay. Are we good to go? Yes, of course he can trust you. Give him this spoon. He'll know what it means. A spoon? What the hell? <laughs> okay. I once killed a minotaur with that spoon. It's a mighty Daedric artifact. Damn, that's hardcore. This chick doesn't fuck around. Thinks she's in charge. Treats us as slaves. Do I look like a slave? Nope. No. I am a queen. Rightful ruler of the Shivering Isles. Without a doubt. Even still, if I don't get my work done, 
I need to harvest at least five pod bits before the day is done. You can tell like her mania side is to be queen of the Shivering Isles and to be the true Daedric Prince of the Shivering Isles. And then her dementia side is like, ugh, I have to go to work and I have to get those pit pods, man. Ugh, how tiresome. Goodbye. Did you talk to Kishashi? I can't trust you if she doesn't. It's nothing personal, really. It's just that everyone else is out to get me. Wouldn't surprise me if you were here spying on me for you know who. So he's supposed to be like Did King Kishashi archetype. Send you with something, a certain utensil or weapon, depending on who you ask. I think his king side is, he's like, his dementia side is, he always has to check in with his wife to get permission to do things, but his mania side is he's so freaking paranoid that he does not trust anyone other than his wife. Who knows what he'll do if he gets too paranoid. Uh, I got the spoon though, so you can trust me now. Let me see that. Give it here. Where well, did you get this? This belongs to Kishashi. Did Sindanwe send you to steal this? How did you get this from Kishashi? She dropped it. I'm returning it. She gave me the spoon to give to you. What happens if we say this? Oh, thank you. I thought you might be one of Sindanwe's hired thugs. I'll hold on to the spoon. Wouldn't want this to fall into the wrong hands. Well, I suppose I can trust you. You did bring me the spoon. Sindanwe is pure evil. She must be stopped at all costs. However, she knows everything about all of us. Keeps notes about everything. Everything! She knows so much about us that she can read our minds. But she doesn't know about you yet. So, you must do it. Get rid of her. Get rid of Sindanwe. How should I get rid of Sindanwe? Well, there's the obvious way. But don't let us see you do it. Shergorath has a thousand eyes and ears. Or you could make her life so miserable that she leaves us alone. She needs everything just so. So sneak into her house and wreck the place. And confiscate her notebook. She carries it wherever she goes, recording all our secret thoughts. I need that book. My thoughts belong to me. Okay, let's go mess with this woman. Now go before someone sees. Ah, oh, shit. Be quick, please. I have a farm to run. It isn't going to run itself now, is it? You know, she's actually quite lovely. Um, what can you tell me about Felmore? We are a farming community. Nothing more, nothing less. That is, when I can get these layabouts to actually put in a day's work. Relan is the only one around here worth a damn. And that's only because he loves to kill his pests. Okay, Kishashi. She'll actually get something done. The problem with her is getting her motivated. You have to play mind games with that one. How do you know about that? It's private. I don't trust you enough to talk about it. Okay. Doesn't get as much work done as he should. He's always turning things over to look under them, searching for who knows what. Not a bad worker once he gets his mind on something, but usually he's doing something unproductive. Watch for the Elytra Stingers. Their poison can be deadly. They don't like magic much, though. All right. See? Every little bit helps. How do you know about that? It's private. I don't trust... Do I have a charm spell? I kind of want to hear what she has to say about that. Take care. 
Be quick. It's my private journal. I write in it every day. Sometimes more than once. It's something I have to do. It keeps my thoughts from unraveling. Can I look through it? Well, I've never shown it to anyone else before, but I feel I can trust you. Here, look it over. But bring it right back, okay? This is the journal I was talking about. This thing is awesome, dude. I'm actually gonna read it. The sun listens to my greenness, but where did the moon frown? The sky is empty of children, and the earth eats strawberries. Yet, why do the worms taste of bitter plum? Everyone is bereft of spores, or the spores have devoured us. All in we are left with nothing, or everything is inside us. Though we find ourselves swimming in rock, where strange things remain, and known things fall outside of their own selves, let alone from each of us. So like, it's kind of like an odd thing. Like she, she's a mind game person, right? So like, maybe like she was writing down like how she like views her mind from an outside perspective. I don't know if that even makes sense because like your mind can be within you, but if you were viewing your mind from the outside, how would that even add up, right? Uh, why play the paintbrush against her? She always stands close to being far away. And what of the farm then? Shall it twinkle in the breeze of lyricism? How should I know? What I do know is this. The grass drinks flower dust like a glass bead swallowed tastes nothing like water. And furthermore, wherever one finds absence of something, that something surely exists. Some place else, or else how could it be absent? There is wisdom in this. So... What does that really mean, like looking at it, reading this, how one thing that exists can still exist but isn't the same, right? So like this part here, you can drink water, but if you drink a condensation bead, it doesn't taste like anything. Or maybe um, that I think that is the point she's trying to make, how Something that is the same can also be the opposite, and the opposite can exist in the absence of said thing. Does that make sense? I don't know. This is like ramblings of some someone. Like, say for instance, you made a farm, right? Like, this is her point. You have a farm, okay? And you tried to grow an orchard, so you waited years and years for these trees to grow. And you're waiting for the orchard to grow, but all the trees died, and since the trees died, all the decomposing trees actually just made a bunch of bean sprouts grow. And then you're like, well shit, with the absence of my trees, I can still harvest these beans, at least. Maybe that's what it's kind of like. Uh, yes, and everything has its place, and every place its thing belonging to it. It is the way of all things. Even those things misplaced know where they belong. They belong to be. That is the whole point of belonging, is it not? And yet, we are never so. Lonely has the stars, has when we find ourselves possessed. Of love? Of death? Of what then? Life? So, she's saying that she... Wait, and yet we are never so lonely has the stars, right? So, stars being important. Because if you remember the Emperor's teachings, he was like, every star has a sign, and I wonder which one rules over you. So, by going backwards and saying that things that exist within things are the opposite of those things that exist, maybe she's explaining that she is lonely, that her life is, is almost a contradictory thing, and she is as lonely as the stars. That's what her death is. And of love, I couldn't really say. It seems like she loves to get her followers to go to work and actually be productive. I don't know. I'm just like analyzing it, and even then, I'm not good at analyzing things, but I do love the writing. Um, but they call me enemy, even as they exalt me. Yet even the wind is slave to the clouds, but the rain, it bounces against the sky like apples in a basket, and for what? 
what shall become of us when the pod pits die? So, yeah, actually this kind of plays into what I was saying before. So, they call her enemy. She could be talking about the other villagers. She could be talking about why the stars don't acknowledge her. Maybe, maybe the Khajiits are the confused ones and they are the stars. And she isn't actually trying to control their minds, but instead they are convinced that they are, uh, what's the word? Uh, not paranoia exactly, but they won't acknowledge her existence. And when they do, it's only if she's like a bad person, right? So even has they exalt me, yet even the wind is slave to the clouds. But the rain, it bounces against the sky like apples in a basket. And for what? What shall become of us when the pod pits die? So what if the Khajiit are the pod pits, right? And she's trying her best to get them to work these pod pits. And she is this, uh, this rain. This rain that is in movement, right? But eventually will stop. Because rain has to hit the ground at some point, right? So she is actually the true slave here, and they are the free ones. And when she's gone from trying to push them to be better, what will happen when the pod pits die? Uh, I would like to think that the bleak summer does not herald the death of the rain, but who is to say one way or the other? If the butterflies make up the walls, how does one see inside a room at night? Perhaps a room is already inside us. And we are the ones who need occupants, and our occupants are the ones who needing the light. So this reminds me of the start of uh, the Shivering Isles when you sit down in front of the um, oh, what's his name? I forgot the the Chancellor to Shea Gorath. You sit in front of him, and then the walls all evaporate into butterflies. Um, it kind of reminds me of that. How? You go into a place expecting shelter, but in reality, the shelter evaporates around you and you weren't actually occupying a space at all. Um, so how does one see inside a room at night? Perhaps the room is already inside us and we are the ones who need occupants and our occupants are the ones needing the light. So kind of like how you were in that dark room, the walls dissipate, and now you're looking out into the bright world when you enter the actual Shivering Isles. And when the people exit the Shivering Isles, they're all crazy. So what if they are the occupants, right? Like if you exit, then you are the one occupying a place. It's almost contradictory, right? Because if you expect to exit a place, you're not entering, you're leaving. But I digress. The spoon that slays monsters is always the last to enter the mouth and the first to leave. Nor do eyes in the back of one's head mean that one can walk backwards. Do the knees bend that way? Do the shoes point heavenward? No. We are stuck falling forward unto, or until we smash against the door of eternity. That is the essence of life, to be devoured in our own banality, though we wish to be something more. This one doesn't make sense to me at all. This one I can't even like try to come up with a theory on the spoon that slays monsters. So maybe she's talking about the Khajiit, how she actually likes and admires her for being a queen, is always the last to enter the mouth. So the queen is always the last to be devoured by this beast that is reality. And the first to leave. So she's always going to be queen. Never isn't there a time when she isn't queen. Nor do eyes in the back of one's head mean that one can walk backwards. Meaning kind of like the king, how he's always paranoid, he's always freaking out. So if he does walk backwards, he's going to walk into a fear of his and he can't do that or else he'll self-destruct. Do the knees bend that way? Do the shoes point heavenward? No. We are stuck falling forward until we smash against the door of eternity. So falling forward is, in my opinion, another way to describe walking we are stuck falling forward so if you think about walking walking is merely controlled falling like if you decide not to put the other foot in front of the other you'll just merely lean forward and fall on your face right so she's she's forced to go 
forward? Do the shoes point heavenward? Question mark. So she's questioning if there is an afterlife, if the king and the queen are leading her in a good direction uh, until we smash against the door of eternity. So she's convinced it's like a cul-de-sac, right? Like you can flow down the street for a while, but eventually you're going to get into this cul-de-sac of a road and you're only going to be able to go around in a roundabout fashion. Uh, that is the essence of life, to be devoured in our own banality, though we wish to be something more. AKA, I think she's analyzing how their mania is to be king, queen, creator of Shia Gorath, but in reality, they are not that, and she is the, the balance to their existence, how she makes them go to work. Uh, I love this life, but I hate the aftertaste, like walking or waking from a dream with someone's fingers in your mouth. How did they get there? Those or whose hand do they belong to? Whose hand do any of us re belong to, really? So, this kind of gives me vibes of, I don't know if you know what Berserk is, it's like an animation, and it reminds me of, uh, to love this life, but I hate the aftertaste, like waking from a dream with someone's fingers in your mouth. How did they get there? Whose hand do they belong to? Whose hand do any of us belong to? If you know Berserk, there are uh, these amulets, and they all have a destiny tied into them, and pretty much what happens is, is when the person who wears the amulet, his hope or his dream dies, so does everyone else in his, his sphere of control dies. So what happens is, is after, after his dream dies, does reality come? And it's like an eclipse. The world is actually this black void slash room. And it's housed by these guys called the God Hand. And they control reality. They call themselves gods, but in reality they're demons. And uh, they end up like devouring all of their followers. The king gets changed into this demon who's under control of another higher power. So in reality, like, he's a demon to another layer of existence. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's how I look at it. I love Berserk. Uh, it always comes back to belonging, does it not? It does. Has a question, knows the answer. The answer belongs to the question. And that is the whole point, I think. To know the question and thus to belong to the answer. So, so for instance, the character who ends up losing his dream of being king ends up becoming a king of uh, that reality, but is also a slave to another higher power by accident. That's, that's kind of what I was getting at. Uh, that is why I must write in this book every day, sometimes twice. The others are jealous of the windflowers that bloom in these pages. They desire to swallow the ink through their nostrils, tasting the bitterness of all that life has in store for them. But it is my life that belongs to me even has my house belongs to the things inside it, and insides belong to outsides, and outsides are never quite as free to do as they think they are. So, meaning, uh, the king and the queen, right? How they aren't exactly what they are, because even if they did have the power, what would they do? Would they birth Shea Gorath? Would they bring order? That is the question, right? That's what Jagorath is. He's Jigalag. He's order. He's control. He's ultimate control. Ultimate knowing. And then Jagorath is chaos personified. So that is why they're contradictory. Because if Jagorath was to be birthed by the king or the queen, then that means that uh, they would fail in ruling. Because that means that the only thing that they created in reality is a figment of of absolutes, right? They can't actually decide how to rule over a Shea Gorath type. Shea Gorath would end up ruling over them. Uh, always this, one thing after another, but not some things. Some things are better left where they think they are, not where they really are. Not all places are equal, nor all things belonging to the same spot. How could that be? No, surely not. Um. I don't know. I don't know what this means. 
Always this, one thing after another, but not something. Some things are better left where they think they are, not where they really are. Not all places are equal, nor all things belonging to the same spot. How could that be? No, surely not. Maybe... No, actually, I can't describe it, because then I'd just be going back to another train of thought, right? Yeah, see, I'm even I'm confused on this. It's always one thing after another. So I don't want to go back to my last train of thought. This is kind of like a guidebook, you know? When my sun shines through the moon's teeth, then it will be time, but not until. Until then, I shall continue to smash my head through windows so that I might see where I am, where here is, where I belong, and all things being just so. So I be just, and justice is important in this life, is it not? How else can a life be justified but by this? Justice is important to this life, is it not? That's a question. Justice is important. But you have to specify what justice is, right? How else can a life be justified but by this? So she's like questioning what her reality is and the justice of it all. If there was no actual farm, just talking about her world, if there's no actual king or queen, if there was no uh, guy who likes to kill the vermin, what would her life be? Because if vermin were allowed to take over, then the king and queen would have a justified reason not to go to work because all the pods would be eaten and then she would have no reason to give them a purpose anymore, and thus she'd lose her purpose within them losing theirs. I don't know. Talking in circles. The sun is forever moving. I must get back to work. I am grateful I have this place to put my thoughts, lest they become lost and confused as I am, though, though I'll never let the others see that. They think I have everything in control. Be quick. All right, I'm going to hold on to our journal. Okay. So we have to mess everything up in here. This is your last warning. Get out or I'll call the guards and have you arrested. Okay, all right. Shit. Okay, let's wait an hour. And then let's break back in. She asleep yet? No, she isn't. Let's continue disturbing stuff. Okay, I put Sindanwe's house in disarray. I should speak with Ranar Joe to tell him the mission is accomplished. Can't you see I'm busy? Wait, what'd you just say? Can't you see I'm busy? My house. So okay. I. Mission accomplished. Have you accomplished the mission? Yeah, that's right. I've wrecked her place. <laughs> that should keep her occupied. She'll spend months putting everything back in place. Hell yeah. Thank you for your help. Here, take these. I was using it to ward off Sindanwe's evil mind control magic. Understandable. I don't need it now. What about this notebook? Excellent. Let me see that. Aha! It's right here, written in her own hand. She is planning to murder us all. I knew it. <laughs> I'll hold on to this. You don't want to get caught by the authorities with it, do you? I suppose I should give you something in exchange. Here, this book might be of use to you. Now leave before someone sees us talking. Go, 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 go. All right, I actually kind of want her notebook back though. Oh, he doesn't have it anymore. Well, I'm glad we read it when we had it. That's one of my favorite books in-game, no lie. 
Okay, let's continue down to the Mad God's boot. We've got a mission to do. I wonder what happens to her after you do all that shit to her. I mean, she's honestly not a bad person, and he's so paranoid that he's just convinced everyone's out to get him. And the queen is, like, so uptight that you can't even, like, break through. You can't even do anything about the situation. Vytharn? Uh, okay, there's ghost people here. We should come back here later. Definitely. Place looks awesome, though. Alright, is this location? This has to be. I did take my sweet ass time reading that book and analyzing everything. My apologies if you don't like that kind of thing. <coughs> but that's one of my favorites of all the things written in this game. I just had to. Uh, let's continue leveling up, too. Almost forgot. Ow, what the hell? Just chop ah! me up. Okay, we're almost there. This is it. Thank you for coming. I apologize for summoning you. The blame is mine. Yeah, you're gonna be sorry. We've lost control of Pinnacle Rock. Syl let them in. We had no idea she would turn on us. Wait, for real? They captured our commander, Dylora, and have her imprisoned somewhere inside. Our first priority must be rescuing her. Okay, where is Dylora now? Syl had called her aside, separating her from the group. She meant to divide our numbers when order entered, making us easier targets. Smart. They imprisoned Ilora somewhere within Pinnacle Rock. If they killed her, she could return to us, so they keep her hostage. If we follow the waters of the Wellspring, we will surely find her. I feel bad for you, Daedra. You don't get to die. Uh, what kind of opposition is there? That means they don't really have any value in accordance to the book. They're just pawns. Still let them in. More than I could count. It was all we could do to fall back and regroup out here. We must free Dylora as soon as possible. She will know what to do. Okay. Right, let's go. Forgive me for saying so, Your Grace, but I find taking orders from the Duke of Mania to be unsettling. Oh, it is. You are the only remaining Duke which is a situation quite unprecedented. Normally, you would never be permitted to pass within Pinnacle Rock. Given the need for swift action, the normal customs shall need to be overlooked for now. We shall be right behind you, Your Grace. I'd probably just order you around nonetheless. Okay, let's equip battle gear. It's time to go. That should be it. Don't mess this up. Do we have any more poisons on deck? We need to check. Okay, we have some. Yeah, we have quite a few, actually. I hope it's enough to get through. I do hate having to fight these guys. Let's also check. We do have res Restore Magicka. Um, let's get out of here. This guy needs to die. Does he have Respect? He does too. That was a ton of damage. We have to be careful of that. Has it been a day yet? Did I not drink that healing potion? Is it just me or did it not work?
This is no good, dude. I'm gonna die if I don't get any healing. Shit. I don't even have one singular healing spell. Wow, you have a nice golden hue to you. The resist fire. Oh, whoops. Maybe there's no reason to use any poison on these guys for the time being. Let's just see if we can't get away with some destruction. Yeah, we seem to be doing plenty of damage. Gold necklace, good. I'll <laughs> get bombed on. Slaughtered them. No mercy. You want some too, bub? Get some. I love it when they bleed. I can't imagine how these guys bleed, to be honest. Well, nonetheless, he's down for the count. Oh, this is gonna get annoying. After we clear this room, why don't we check if we cannot make a potion or not? Actually, hold on. Yeah, it's still messed up. I just need one healing potion, my dude. I ain't trying to die right now. Alive? Maybe I should think about healing them. Nice kill. No, she has her own healing spells. Get him, get him! Flawless Emerald, useful. No, they're doing tons of DPS, surprisingly. Awesome. Um, what does the expert level give us? Sweeping power attack now has a chance to knock down your opponent. Press and hold attack while moving back. Okay, good. Dude, get out of my face. You want some? Come and get some. <laughs> ring of wizardry. This is one of the end game multi effect rings that you can get. It's generic loot, but it is really good for on the cash, man. Look at all that. That's every single magical school skill completely boosted. It's a lot. Strong potion of health? Yes, definitely. Okay, that just fortified it. Never mind. Treasure. There we go, now we're talking. How about you? Nothing really useful. How come the thing is blocked off? How do I continue on here? Am I missing something? Alright, I guess we go that way instead? But this way, too, is blocked off. 
Huh. Ah, oh, here we go. That helps. Much better. Bomb on him. Wreck his shit. Nice. Oh, I thought she was dead. I really do like this place. I don't know if I've ever been here before. I think I usually do the Mania one. Because I become the Duke of Dementia instead. This is fun, not half bad. Okay, there's no reason for that. Let's try this. Needs a key. We must find Dylora and free her. Okay, I suppose you don't have the key then. How about this guy? No. No. No key. Odd. Is there a button, perhaps? This looks different. You must set me free. Yeah, that was the, the idea. The barrier can't be broken by you. It's too tough. Use the chime. Ring the chime. And that may shatter it. Hey, I'm not trying to sound rude, but you kind of have like a manis mustache going on. You must set me free. No, is that just me? The barrier can't be... Okay. She kind of looks like a dude. Not gonna lie. Now you, on the other hand, you got all the good features. Okay, um... <laughs> Never mind, let's not start in on that. So we have to find a chime, and with the chime we can actually... get the thing open. It's broken! Mission accomplished. You have my thanks for freeing me, but... Just who are you? I'm the Duke of Mania, yo. Your Grace, I am sorry. I did not realize. Where is Syl? Have you seen her, that traitorous coward? What happened here? Syl, the snake. She showed up, asked for a contingent of guards, said there was trouble at the palace and that we were needed. We were so focused on organizing quickly, that by the time we realized she'd let order in herself, it was too late. We were split up and picked off. Rip. But it doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters now is the Wellspring. We must reach it at once. What Wellspring? What do you mean? The Wellspring of the Mazkin. It's what links us to this realm, where we return to the world from the waters of oblivion. If Syl helps Order sever that link, my kind will be annihilated. The realm will be lost to us. We must get to the Wellspring and stop them. I will follow your lead. The Wellspring is at the heart of Pinnacle Rock. Follow the waters to reach it. I am yours to command your grace. I don't know the exact details, but I think Daedra, whenever they die, since they're like unkillable in reality, they do this thing called the walkabout. Not like a Native American walkabout, but their version is like they reform back into the physical form or something like that after doing this walkabout. I think that's what she's alluding to. What reason could she have to turn on Lord Sheagareth himself? She must know that he will find and punish her. We will catch her, and will turn her over ourselves. Her treachery cannot be allowed to stand. Okay. We must prevail. I think we will, honestly. You and me, side by side, how could we go wrong? Okay, this leads back to start. Nice. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is something new. Oh, disgusting grumite. 
Damn, how do they kill so fast? These chicks are ridiculous, dude. No, the wellspring. Whoa. They've stopped it up. You, you must make it to the wellspring and let the waters flow. They got petrified. Holy shit. Something has happened to the wellspring of the Mazkin and Pinnacle Rock. I need to proceed on my own to restore it. Okay, so like, are these people in a constant flow of time? How does this work? And if the flow of the wellspring stops, why do they get instantaneously petrified? This looks crazy, dude. Drop their shields, too. That looks so cool, though, how that just happened. That's crazy looking. Okay. Let's open up. Weak healing, strong healing, yes and yes. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm gonna get my summons in here. Maybe we can handle this without much killing. Or maybe not. Is there a proper route? I think my Dora Lord has it. Kill him! You can handle that guy. I got these ones. I think we're almost at 100 destruct, dude. I'm kind of hyped for that, not gonna lie. We're all out of Magicka. No surprise. God, there's so many enemies. We'll just apply dots to them over time. I think this is the right call. We're invincible, you know? This game is hardly a challenge to us anymore on the hardest difficulty. We can just run past everything. Get our summon back. Okay, what does that do? Oh, perfect. It's trying to escape me. You pansy. You want some too? Get some, bro. Another switch. Oh wow, look at this location. I've located the wellspring of the Maskin. It's been covered in order crystals. I'll need to destroy them to restore the wellspring. This looks so cool. This is really awesome. Wow, dude. I actually kind of want to picture this. Hey, uh, you're kind of in the way. This is complicated. I guess we're going to have to wait on that. A warrior? I think that was the male variant. Yeah. Okay. So ring the bell. Did that do anything? I think it's shattering it slowly but surely. That's awesome. Now everyone's resurrected again? How does this shit work? Seems like they're back up and running. Good luck fighting all of those. Stay alive, bro. Stay alive. I'm cornered here. Oh, they were one. Wow. This is a massive battle. I love this style of, of fights, man. Look at all them! They swooped in in the nick of time to save me. Thank you. Good kills, good kills. I am 
yours to command your grace. Adio. The remaining forces of order have been defeated. I should speak with Dylora. Where did she go? Lead on, your grace. Is she even here anymore? Is that supposed to be Shea Gorath? That is the sketchiest statue I've ever seen of him. He actually like looks serious. Okay, let's get out of here. I think this is the exit. Man, I feel safe with an entire entourage of these crazy women behind me. The Hall of Honor. Let's look at our map. Alright, it's telling us to go back. I think we should trust the map. And then let's look beyond. Okay, yeah, it wants us to go completely black. How about we re-equip our travel gear? I think all the killing has stopped. Okay, travel gear up and running. And even if there is more combat, we'll just leave it to the seducers. I've been running out of magicka non-stop also, you notice that? Oh, you're here. The wellspring is restored. You saved us. We are forever grateful, your grace. That's in a day's Please, work. Please, allow me to teach you this spell, so that you may summon our kind to you in times of need. Oh, awesome, thank you. Also, accept this gift of armor. It is the least I can do to show thanks for your help. What about Syl? No sign of her yet. We'll do our best to track her down and deliver her to Lord Sheagorath for a fitting punishment. Hell yeah. The traitor must be brought to justice. What happens now? Our warriors will scour the halls of Pinnacle Rock, removing any last elements of opposition. Then, we will immediately return to our duties. Then I shall take my leave. Indeed. Lord Sheagorath will be anxious to hear of your victory, I am sure. Wellspring of Maskin? Your grace has restored the Wellspring and saved us. For this, Whoa. we thank you. You don't see that every day. Dark Seducer Helmet. Let's actually look at this armor real fast. Okay, well, <laughs> it's got some real BDSM vibes to it, but it's an entire set, that's for sure. Arms, gauntlets, pants, helmet, looks cool. Actually, it looks very cool. I think I like the the Saints a bit more. But that's okay. Okay, let's re-equip our travel gear. And get out of here. Not half bad. That was a quick and easy mission. Uh, where is the quick way out? Is it this way? We need to look. The Hall of Honor. Hall of Devotion. Hall of Honor. Okay, good. Your grace. Alright, open this. Where is the exit? I'm always so lost. There we go. Alright, finally. We did good. We honestly did. We kicked ass, took names. Oh, that's kind of messed up. There's like a bloated dead corpse in the water over there. When did you get here? Look at her beady eyes staring out into the ether. The saints have like these snake eyes. Well, these ones have like actually like normal person eyeballs. Well, as far as like, you know, eyeballs go. They're round. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to call it an episode here. And the next one, we'll turn in this quest and we will see what is going on with the future of the Order and the Shivering Isles. But until then, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you in the next episode. I'm sure the conclusion is just around the corner. I want to get to a safe place before I save. There's a tree ant chasing me. Uh, but yeah, until next time, goodbye, and have a good day.